Today's video is going to be a tour of room 306 at Christian Brothers High School. Welcome to ceramics class. Follow me. Alright, so when you work with clay, you get dirty, and we try to prevent that. Please feel free to bring whatever cool bib overalls or something you want to use, but we also have in the classroom these aprons, and they're going to help to keep you clean. And for most of the projects, that's going to be fine. But when you get on the wheel and you start throwing, you're going to need more, so we have these bibs. They cover your whole body, and they're better for uh, when you're throwing. Okay, so in the past, the file cabinet was actually important because a lot of my handouts and things that I used in class were there. Now, with Schoology and with a flipped classroom, we don't keep much in this file cabinet. All right, so at the front of the class, there is the cone five glazes. You'll learn more about that in the glazing video. There's this rack where I keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff for the class. At the front of the class, we also store the clay. The new clay we get, we use this for a few of the projects. At the north side of the class is where all the wheels are. These are the potter's wheels. We have six of them that are electric. Next to the electric wheels is this one kick wheel. And then we recycle all the clay. If a project you start doesn't survive, we put it in here. We wedge it. That's another video you'll get to see. And then you get to use that wedge clay in most of your projects. You have the slabbing machine. Use it for a whole bunch of projects. Behind the slabbing machine is a basket full of plastic. You cover your ceramics with plastic while you're in, in working on it. And then there's all the tools. You'll get more information on the tools in the tools video. If you look in front of me, you'll see the wedging table. You use that a lot to wedge that clay in the recycle buckets. Behind me are the sinks. Spend a lot of time at these sinks cleaning up. Ceramics makes a mess and you've got to clean up after yourself. As you are a student in this class, one half of one of these racks is where you're going to store all of your pieces while you're working on it. And there's lots of rack space in here. Now we've sort of looked at the room, we're going to head out the door and go to the kilns. When you fire something in ceramics, you actually carry your piece to the kiln. I don't want to carry it because I might break it. So here we go, we're off to the kilns. Now we're in the kiln room. When you bring your ceramics here, you'll load it in one of the two kilns. They're both the same kind of kiln. They fire, they can fire to similar temperatures. But I use this kiln for low fire and this kiln for high fire. So three times a week we usually come out here and put ceramics in the kiln. And that is a tour of the classroom and the kiln.